Alright guys, watch the crack, this is Gar, and this is the alpha of a very, very special game that I am very, very privileged to get a first look at and get access to the closed alpha. Really privileged. So grateful to Dave Chaos and Wale for giving it to me this early. It's a really fun game and I am so, so, so lured to be involved in the early formation of this game. And you, most of you will probably have seen me mess about with Dave in some multiplayer videos already, where we worked on a level for Lizardman Warrior called Gar, who I think is pretty damn cool, but there's a few issues I think with the Warrior at the moment, so I decided I would also work on a level 3 undead ranger, well he's level 3 at the moment, an undead ranger called Bonesaw. And I think that's what we're going to play it a little bit of single player today. So I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to create a new world. Um, because I was just, that was the world I had to create in order to get onto multiplayer. Uh, we are going to give this seed, I don't know, pick Roland, just because that's the channel name, I guess. And we're going to call it Gar's LP World. Okay? How about that? Uh, oh, it must be a number. Okay, so the seed will be. I don't know. Uh, zero eight nine two. Blah, 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 blah. How about that? Okay, awesome. I have no idea what that's gonna generate. I just made that up on the top of my head. Just to hit the number keys. I hit the number keys mostly to the right of the number pad as well. So we've probably got a bit of an unbalanced world, if that's even possible. But let's take a look at this. Let us take a look. Now there is the, there is a wiki to this, but it's a little unformed. It's a little bit. There's not much detail to it, so we are basically trying to work this out as we go along. Now the first thing that I've noticed about this game is how beautiful it is. Now another thing that we've noticed is, see those wolves? They have their name in red, which means they are pretty high tier, and I have almost zero chance of taking them out, particularly taking them out alone. So I am just going to try and kite them here, grab this. You'll also see that because their health bar is red, it means they are an enemy, which means that they are will attack you if you get in range. So we're just going to pick some of this stuff because we need to sell it. Now we are a ranger, which is basically a type of kind of basically like an RPG type class, which is specializes on ranged weapons. Now at the moment, I have got a boomerang. I could also equip my. I think I have a bow and arrow still. I can, yeah. I've got a bow and arrow. Now it's pretty cool because. Uh, you can just basically shoot loads of bows, and then you can also shoot three bows in like once, which is really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Nipte was using that attack a lot, and it's a really, really good attack. I think he was using it with his crossbow. But I think for individually and sort of individuality sake and uniqueness sake, I'm going to stick to the boomerang, because I think it looks pretty cool, to say the least, on top of just being a bit badass. And there's some pretty cool moves with it. So I'm going to try and just play this game. Uh, collecting these things called heart flowers, which you use to make um, potions. And we're going to try and level up and do some exploring. Now, I see some cows here. Now, in my opinion at the moment, the game needs a little bit of work on balancing the sorts of enemies. Now, ooh, what have we got here? We hear some noises. There's somebody having a battle. Somebody killing something? Oh, we've got a friend. So we've got a friend there. I think he was probably killing the cow. Now, the cows... <laughs> are surprisingly tough. As you can see, this is my tactic for getting them. I need to throw the boomerang and then run away. Let me just show if I can do it for you, right? Throw the boomerang. See, they hit pretty damn hard. It's got to be said. There we go. Almost got this cow. And we should get, I don't know, 2 XP from this? Something like that there. Oh, oh, almost got them. Almost got them. Use my special kick to kick them down. And then charge my special attack with the right mouse button. Yeah, awesome. He's down. Now we're going to aggro this guy from far away. And then hopefully we can get some extra hits on him. A bit too far. A bit too far. There we go. Get some extra hits. Get some extra hits. And then charge the second one. Awesome. And then get some more hits. Get some more hits. Charge it again. Awesome. Yes, even better way of doing it. Now as you can see I did take quite a bit of damage there. So... You can see here there's a campsite. Now in the campsites you can do a couple of things. Sometimes in the campsites there's beds which you can sleep and which you can regain your health. Now at the moment I am just going to use this fire to hopefully 
This is my crafting. I'm pressing C to get up my crafting recipe. If you press F1, you'll get all the all the keys up there, right? So, if I press C, I get my crafting up. Now you can craft weapons, armor, uh, amulets, cooking items, alchemy, and different formulas, okay? Some of these require specific items to be next to, so it's a bit like Terraria, you just kind of need to be next to it. Um, so at the moment, I'm near a campsite, so I can do some things that I wouldn't have been able to do if I go over here, requires campfire. See that down there? So I press C here, doesn't require campfire. Now, what have I got on me? I look to make some ginseng soup, and I have got two ginsengs, so I am going to just hold down the craft button here and craft myself two ginseng soups, which are really, really good for health. But we are going to just try and just kind of... Now, if you press tab, you'll see that your item there in the bottom there is Q. If you press tab, you'll bring up the different items you can put in that Q slot. You just single test it, you don't have to hold it down. Then you can scroll between A and D to select which ones you put there. Now, the ginseng soups, of which I have 13 now, are really good for bringing up your health, but when, you, you, when you're drinking them, you cannot move. These, you can drink on the move, so they're good for the battle. So I like to keep them in there for the main slot, so that if I'm you know, about to be taken down, I will use that. Now, here we have a cat. Now, cats are one of the possible pets. Now, at the moment, the only pet food that I find, which I got to by opening my inventory with I and going here, is waffles. And when you do that, you get a really cool animation where it kind of looks like you're eating it, but you just kind of hold it out there. So I'm going to try and bring this up to the cat and see if he's interested in it. Yeah, it appears he's not. So I don't think this cat is going to be our pet. Nipte has a pet on one of his characters, but uh, yeah, we don't. So, cats, good form of... Uh, Good form of leveling up, I guess. So we're going to take a bit of distance here and see if we can do the same tactic we did before. And... Charge our special. And then wipe it out. Yeah, he's down. Okay, move back. We've got that guy helping us. XP leeching. XP leeching. Let's see what he says. I love traveling to cities of different lands. He looks pretty cool, though. He's a nobald. And he's a ranger like me, which is pretty awesome. Gotta preach out for the rangers. Bone saw with my blue dreadlocks and my dark red eyes. I think I look pretty menacing. I wouldn't like to meet me in a dark alley on a on a cold night or a warm night or a, or a bright alley for that matter. I don't think I'd ever actually, in real life. I don't think I'd ever like to meet this guy. <laughs> uh, I'd be a bit worried as to why he doesn't seem to have anything on his face. So as I said before, if you bring F1, you're going to get all the different um, moves up. Now one of the coolest moves is the middle mouse button, which you can use to do some. Uh, cool avoidance maneuvers, which is really good actually when you're up close and personal with some creatures. But I don't know if it's a bug, but there's a really cool thing right now where if you uh, middle click and then shortly after do space, you do like a really cool jump, which can actually be really cool for uh, getting up hills. Now in the minute we're going to just, once we get this ginseng, we're going to um, open up the cool map and we are going to look for the city, because I want to show you guys the city. And I can't seem to see the city, which is a little bit worrying. Now we did just spawn in this world, so there's no telling where things are. I'm going to go this way though, and go to the path, because that's usually, in my experience so far, which isn't much in the game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest, usually a way of getting towards the city is to follow the path. Makes sense, doesn't it? Pretty, pretty logical, pretty common sense. I love how this game looks. I really, really do. The one complaint I have about it so far, which I know is very excusable because it's an alpha, is that it's very easy to die. Incredibly easy. However, on the flip side, dying doesn't really give you any of uh, a negative effect. There's no debuff to dying. You don't lose anything at the moment. You don't seem to have any consequences to it apart from not being where you were, which is, a, which is the only problem. Now, I am going to show you those consequences right now by dying to a squirrel. Now you can see that because he's red, I am basically not doing a bit of damage on this squirrel. Not one bit. And he is going to absolutely destroy me. Just absolutely. I'm going to try my best, but uh, he is going to destroy me. Oh, I'm doing a bit of damage actually. But I, it's going to be really hard to get him. And I don't know if it's going to get me much XP. So I think I might just show you guys what happens when I die. So you crumble into little blocks just like uh, the enemies do, and you get to press R to revive, and you come to here, which is like a little angel stone, which is really, really awesome. So um, it's usually pretty near whereby you died, but not necessarily. Those raccoons are also absolute monsters, so I'm going to just kite around him, pick up this heart flyer, 
and move towards the path, which I see is just around the corner. Now, as I said, we are a ranger, which means the oh god, what is that? It's a dwarf, and actually it's blue, but it's a dwarf mage, which means, you know what, let's take him out. Let's try to take him out. His spells don't look that good. His spells don't look that good. So let's charge this and throw our double pist double boomerang effect. And let's get in there. Another charge. And then we can use our special attack if we need it. See, only 1 XP. But I did get some 12 copper and some plain, sink sh plain silk shoulder armor, which I think is about as good a time as any to show you the armor. Now, as you can see here, I'm wearing some stuff already. So if we go to the armor tab, I, this is where armor would be stored if you had excess stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure that as a ranger, you wear linen. So silk is no good to me. I don't know what silk... Uh, where is the silk armor, actually? Where did I... Where did it go? I said I received some. There it is. Shoulder armor. You can see there in red, mage. Now, that, so this basically, the mages wear silk. And I am not a mage. So it's pretty useless to me. I could give it to a member of my party if I was in multiplayer at the moment. Or I could just sell it and get some money, which is probably what I'm going to do. Early game at the moment, there doesn't seem to be much option for getting um, armor, apart from crafting it. You, there are stores that you can buy, but it all seems to be a higher tier that, through which you can't actually use, which I'll try and explain when we get there. But I guess when we're here, we'll show you that we've got an ability to have a left weapon and a right weapon. Now, the boomerang is a, is a one-handed weapon, so you can't really do that there. But if you were a warrior, you could have a one-handed sword and shield, for example. There's also a left ring, which gives you sort of special powers. Uh, and a right wing, which can give you special powers. You can also have some neck uh, armor, I believe. Or maybe it's that's where the amulet goes, I think. You can have shoulder armor. You can wear gloves, which is the only piece of armor I have. You can have uh, shoes, which again is also provides armor. Here you have a light for when you're in dark areas. I don't know what special does, and pet is where you hold your um, pet items, which will be many and varied, I presume, at some stage. But anyway, if you press F, you get out the torch, which is pretty cool for dark areas. You can kind of see the difference if I come here, but it's it's most it's most prevalent at night and kind of in caves and stuff. But anyway, we are on the path now, so let's take a guess, right, as to where the city is. Let's just take a guess. It is that way, because we can see the city. So I am going to go north. Awesome. And we are going to try and level up along the way as best we can. Leveling can be a little slow, especially when you're single player. There's, It's difficult to sort of take on um, items that, uh, sorry, creatures that can give you lots of XP. That's because at the moment the, the, uh, the questing system isn't brought in, which I presume gives you quite a lot of XP for what it is. So what's this? It's a, it's a, a knoll. Okay. So your special attack, kick, kick attack, it's like a, it's the one melee that the, uh, it's the one melee that the uh, ranger seems to have, which is pretty damn useful to be honest, because it like, keeps them knocked back, uh, again, pretty damn useful. It's got a bit of a cooldown though, so, um, there we go, and again, only one XP, but 19 copper, so we can hopefully buy some stuff, and we didn't take much, uh, we didn't lose much health there, so that's pretty cool. If you're on the paths, you don't really encounter much stuff, so I'm going to kind of go to the slight side of the path and keep a lookout for some cool things. We have another campfire here, but no bed, so I can't show you the sleeping. Uh, but we'll be sure to look out for more of those. They're kind of dotted around, so you usually see quite a few of them. Sorry, I've got a bit of an itchy nose. Um, what else can I talk to you guys about? Yeah, so um, another one of the things in this game is the dungeons. Now, again, I haven't really got a chance to do many dungeons because um, this guy's a ranger, which is going to be a bit awkward because he's got a boomerang, but he's not as good as me at getting them, so always charging his attack. Oh, avoided with almost precision skill. This is so weird, just taking this guy out with the same sort of skills. He's actually doing better than me, than I... He's going to take me out. This will be as good as a time as any to show you that if I press Q, I can drink this potion and regain my health a little bit. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're going to go in and we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and use our special attack on him. Awesome. Knock him down. Charge this. He's almost there. He's almost there. So are we obviously. I bet you we only get 1 XP for this gonna drink another potion and then there we go almost down almost down 
Oh god, oh god, that absolutely wrecked. That absolutely wrecked me. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going in, we're going in. Knock down. One bloody XP. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say about this game, is that sometimes the XP seems to be a bit um, unbalanced. Let's uh, let's get this, let's get our pet item out and try this again. Uh, Domino's just texted me. Can we get a platypus as a pet? Platypus? Duckbill? Do you want to be our pet? Oh god, I nearly, oh I did kill him. Well, not kill him, but I'm gonna, I heard him, so I'm gonna have to kill him now. I'm sorry, platypus. I'm sorry. And... Now there's some really cool features in the game that you can do at higher levels as well. Oh, 2 XP from that dude, that's pretty cool. Um, you can, um, well actually let's get to the store and I'll show you there. So I might, unless I see something really cool, I might skip forward until we get to the city. Who knows? Who knows? What's that? Those are, there's loads of little insecty things down there. I think they're called insect guards. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty beasts. I'm gonna ignore them. What have we got here? A terrier. Let's try the, this on the terrier. Let's try this. Hey terrier. Terrier. Oh my god! You see my pet? I don't know what to do. You see my pet now? <gasps> oh yeah! Look at that! Level 3 Terrier is my pet! Oh yeah! Need a name for him. Uh, any of my loyal subscribers want to give a name for him, put your comment in the comment section below and he will be that name. The most upvoted one will get to be called will get the name of the terrier. I don't know if we get the option to name the pets, but if we do, that's pretty damn cool.